It says in the Bible, God is so aware he knows if you lose one strand of hair from your head. Now, that to me has got to be a pretty sharp God. Plus, he's got his nose in everybody's business or hair. <laughs> so you have to come to the God of your heart and sit down and be with the God of your heart. There are people that have gotten so many blessings out of this movement that have never, never tithed and donated very little, and all of a sudden their stuff starts to shut off. And we get letters to them. I tithe. I didn't get anything back. You're not supposed to get anything back from tithing. You're given time. That's your giving time. You give. Why? Because it was never yours in the first place. You took false ownership. Well, the check was made out my name. The paper belonged to God. The ink belonged to God. The pen belonged to God. How did you get your name on there? I don't know. But none of it's yours. Then there's a story of a scientist that walks up to God and says, God, we don't need you anymore. We can make man. God says, is that right? He says, yeah. In fact, we're calling you to a contest. God, we're going to make a man over here. And God, you can make a man over here. God said, that's fair enough. And the guy said, OK. When I count to three, we will start. God said, all right. He goes, one, two, three. And reaches down to get the dirt, and God said, hold it. He said, what? What is it? Get your own dirt. 